Hello everyone. So in this video I'm going to be teaching you guys about lambda expressions or lambda functions depending on how you found this video. You might have found it either um, under functions or expressions. Um, I will use the terms interchangeably um, if that bothers you. Sorry, but uh, yeah. So a lambda function, spelled L-A-B-D-A, -D -D -A, lambda, is an expression that is simply just an expression or a function without a name. Um, you may also hear the term anonymous function, which basically means the function does not have a name bound to it. Well, what does a non-anonymous function look like, one that does have a name bound to it? Well, if we do def uh, p of t, uh, return t to the second power, we have a function p that has a name. The, fun the name of the function is p. And we can use any number in place of t in our function p. Now, the identical lambda function would look like this. Uh, we would say, let's say y equals lambda x colon x to the power of 2. Now we can say y 2 and still get the same answers that we did with p. However, this is the function y only contains the function. That's it. Y itself is not a function. Uh, however, if we do a type, it will say function. Well, why is that? Because it contains the function. Um, it simply holds it. If we said Y equals 3, well, then the type of Y is integer. However, Y is not a a function in the same sense that p is a function, y is simply a variable that holds a function. Now, why is this useful? What's the point of saying lambda x colon x squared when I can do the same thing in this way more readable format? Well, because using a lambda function or a lambda expression, you can return a function from within a function. Uh, what I mean by that is that you see here, we didn't return anything in the lambda. There's no return statement. However, it knew that when we passed it a variable at like 2, or a value uh, like 2, that it was going to replace this x in this expression with 2. Up here, we explicitly state that we're returning this. In a lambda function, this can be omitted because it's something that they always have to do. Methods don't always have to return a value. However, a lambda function is always going to return something. Um, it's always going to contain an expression in which it, it has to return. Um, also, you can put it anywhere that you think a function would be, or, a, or where an expression would be. So, your return statement right here, this return line, expects you to return a statement. Well, that means you can return a lambda expression because these are both expressions and the lambda function is also considered a lambda expression. So what does this look like? Well, if we did def um, h n and said return lambda x colon x plus n to the power of 2, then when we do let's say uh, c equals h of 3 and b equals h of 0, we have actually changed this variable and made these contain the function or the lambda expression with n being an actual value. So let's demonstrate what this looks like. If I do b of 2, we're we look up here and we see b is equal to h of 0. Well, h of 0 is going to return lambda x, of, um, which is a ex expression or function that has x plus n to the power of 2. So h of 0 says lambda x, x plus 0 to the power of 2. So we should get to the, uh, to, uh, 
2 to the power of 2, a lot of 2's, uh, giving us 4. If we do the same thing with C, we go up here and follow it, h of 3, so h3, lambda x, x plus 3 squared. Well, if we do C2, we actually get C plus 3, so 5 to the power of 2, which is 25. And this allows us to use one function in multiple ways with different numbers as the constants. Um, this is ex ex yeah. especially helpful, I'm sorry, I can't talk today, especially helpful when you're trying to do some sort of mathematical calculation that involves checking numbers with different constants. Um, it allows you to change one variable without changing the other and using the other in a for loop without having to somehow not iterate over the other variable. n is a variable in the function h, but when it, by the time you use the function h and it returns your lambda expression, n is going to have a known value. So that is probably the, I don't know, um, easiest way to demonstrate what a lambda function is used for. There's very many other uses for it. Um, if you're interested and you want to learn more about them, I would recommend looking up the filter and map functions um, as they're closely related. And you can do a lot of fun stuff with lambda functions and maps and filters. Um, yeah, uh, just Google them and say, like, filter lambda expressions in Python. You know, get all kinds of cool stuff. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you want to see my future videos, please subscribe. If you like the video, press the like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And if you really want to help me out, please share the video. Uh, getting more people to see this helps out a lot. Uh, thank you guys very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.